Hi, Sandro here, and this is a video about last week's airport run where dogs are getting shipped to Canada from Puerto Plata. Um, first of all, let me catch up with our last video. Uh, sad news, unfortunately, is that the poor doggy that was sick, um, that didn't make it, and it had to be put down because it was getting worse and worse every day, basically starving, and unfortunately, uh, it did not make it. However, uh, at the airport drone, we only have good news is that we sent three dogs over to Canada. And now you might actually think, why do people from Canada adopt dogs from uh, the Dominican Republic? Well, I think a lot of um, Canadians and Americans go down to the island on vacation. And, you know, their heartstrings are tug at because they're seeing a lot of animals all over the place, a lot of strays, but there's not much that they can do when they're on vacation. And so a lot of people, you know, have they hurt for the animals that are here and so they want to go ahead and be able to give them a better life um, because we're not used to seeing strays running all over the street in Canada um, you know dogs that um, need medical attention urgently like we're just not used to it it's a lot more controlled uh, where we are in, in Canada I'm Canadian um, so I think that that's a main way like that's what got me involved was you know seeing the drastic need for help for uh, animals on the islands uh, specifically. So you see that in the end it actually does make sense to uh, ship a dog from Dominican Republic Canada. There are many many dogs that have been shipped uh, this way uh, over the past few years. So three dogs to be sent uh, this day. <laughs> but she wasn't taken care of and was just running loose on the street all the time. So she moved into one of the Dominican families in Sisua who we help. Um, they've got 10 dogs, they're really nice, lots of dogs to play with, so Butterfly just moved herself in there. Um, we came across her, it was probably the middle of June. Things went very well with the dogs. We already have news from uh, the arrival of the dogs. First of all, Butterfly, uh, her new family already picked her up. Uh, and they write, you guys, she's perfect. We are already so in love with her. Thank you for everyone that helped to make this happen. And then a little later, they sent pictures and they write, hey, old Butterfly is exhausted. She's falling asleep everywhere. She ate dinner and had a big drink of water. She's fast asleep again. And the other two dogs, Talson and Dahlia, they arrived at their foster family where they're gonna stay for, I think, four days before they go to their final destination. And the foster family wrote, hey everyone, uh, here are the two beauties. 
They are adorable. Dahlia is uh, setting in just fine and Tolson is inspecting his new environment. Both are doing really well and have eaten their dinner. So uh, another three dogs that have arrived or are arriving in their new lives. Uh, and this is another aspect of uh, dogs and cats of the Dominican Republic. Today is Wednesday and all the puppies have arrived at their final destination. Here you can see a picture of uh, Talson and Dahlia being in their flight kennel for the last time. A picture at Toronto Airport. And there you see them at their final destination with their new family. Uh, Here is another picture. Uh, they were very tired. <laughs> you see even a picture of Dahlia yawning in the car while she is getting uh, a pet. So everything worked well and from the emails still everybody is very happy and they say it was very easy uh, and they're thanking everybody. So thanks also a lot to the adopters for letting me share these pictures. That's really nice uh, so we could have our little story here together. Alright, I'm gonna be back soon with another video. Uh, I think there's gonna be another airport run on Friday and if I get some good shots I might share these. Alright, see you soon.